Hey look, we're back. And where we last left off, we beat the first chapter. I'm telling you right now there's 18 chapters, so there should only be around 18 episodes. If I'm doing stupidly well at a point, and I feel like I can handle it, I might fight the secret boss. I probably won't. Uh, that being said, let's talk about some things in the video game industry. So, first, um, Skull and Bones. You know, that multiplayer pirate game that Ubisoft has been working on since, like, what, 2010 or something? Some ridiculous nonsense amount of time because they're contractually obligated to, I think, do uh, from Singapore or something. I think they got, like, a government deal with Singapore and now they're contractually obligated to finish it. Well, yeah, it's been at the final. It was supposed to come out sometime this year, and it's now been delayed until next year. To which a lot of people are like, okay, who cares? Because, like, at this point, that game is almost vaporware. It really is. Oh, also, they are also going to be pushing this $70 price tag on video games for their big AAA prices. And we don't really have a reason for it. A lot of these companies keep acting like, look, we have to be this greedy if we want to sustain in the video game market. Okay, can you show us, like, how much money is going around that you have to do this? No. Because they don't want to just show that it's going all the way to the top and funneling all the way to the top. If a price if a price hike in video games meant that the developers didn't get dicked over at the bottom end, I would be more than happy. I would gladly pay eighty dollars for my video games if I knew that the video game that the money was going to the people actually working on the games. But I know it's not. I know it's going all the way to the people at the top so they can keep sexually abusing people and keep being massive pieces of shit. Speaking of massive pieces of shit. Activision Blizzard. So, Blizzard, in a incredibly boneheaded move, has decided, oh, you want to play, uh, are you just going to be the first time jumping into Overwatch 2, and you didn't have Overwatch? Well, I guess you got to unlock these characters. Yeah, they decided that all the old characters, if you are brand new to Overwatch 2, yeah, you're going to have to bot, you're going to have to play the game and unlock them in a battle pass, over 100 levels worth, to which a lot of people are saying, hey, remember... Remember back when you guys said that you don't want to do this because changing on the fly and counterpicking your opponents is quite literally the point of your game? Remember that? No? Oh, interesting. So yeah, just companies being shitbag companies. What else is fucking new? Either way, let us keep going with this. Regrid City of Deja Vu. Deja Vu. I don't think you can buy anything yet. 30,000, right? Take care of my babies, will you? Some people may have a thing for the 45s, but to me, these are the real works of art. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I can afford anything yet. Yeah, I don't want any items. What's stiletto? Slamming to opponent with a crib and deliver. Oh, stiletto is literally Stinger. Yeah, it's Stinger. Yeah, it's Stinger. Yeah, it's just Stinger. <laughs> Heal slide. Heal stomp. What's this? By stamp slamming your heel into a down enemy, the wicked kick will be summoned, depleting your magic gauge. I'm moving backwards. Press B. Oh. Okay. What else we got? Ooh, Afterburner Kick. Oh, you've seen this movie. You played against Bayonetta and Smash Brothers. You played against the boob. Uh, let's give it a try. Sending. Press B. 
press B in a direction. Red, red hot kick. New two of them. Cool. Portal kick. What? Open up a magic port orb and we'll bump your buddy's head and liberate it. Use. Hold B. Get styled on. Get actually fucking styled on. Oh no, that's pretty cool. But I'll I'm saving up for those guns later. Stiletto. <laughs> Look, we can't call it Stinger, guys. We can't call it Stinger. We can't, we don't want to get sued by Capcom. Is that Angel bike? Is that a bike made of angels? Oh no! Oh, it's her again. Why, hello there. I know who you are. Now you gonna look at me? Rude. Gravity works all of it. Or uh to find some answers about your past, are we? Yes. You've quite the familiar face. And using the same powers. But you'll have to forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> same powers. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. Oh. I've been high and dry for 20 years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. <laughs> Perhaps you're up for the task. You've already disappointed me. Yo, get nabbed. <laughs> She's surfing a bike. This is a moment I've long desired. But you've forgotten your destiny and wasted the past twenty years. You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers. The eyes of the world. They are the power behind everything. Jean, as heir to the clan, the time has come for you to prove your right to fight. Under the Umbran name, you may select opponents of your choice. Then allow me to face the outcast. Hi. None. Healing Kiadagat. The child is of impure blood. Challenging her would be a violation of our tenets of faith. It would not be the first time we faced each other. Kiad. Will you face me in this hallowed arena? Well, if I must. But I pray you've got a little something for me in return. You know, I'm very fond of stuffed animals. Oh shit. Oh, 
Oh, we already I can walk on walls. Because Riza. Yes, she just blocked my bullets. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. How do I... Ah, oh, come on. Give me a second. Can't change the controls, but I can still check them. New camera. Taunt. There we go. Lock on's R1. Oh, okay. Look, it's been a while. It has been a while. I need to. Do it. playing DMC1 all over again. Get back down here. Nice. Oh, nice. Strange. And look, after I did that thing in the cutscene, now I can do it here. Oh, crazy! And there is the name of our Virgil. John. God, this game is just, it is just wonderful to just be cool in a game. It is just so much fun to just style all over the balls of your opponent. Literally. something in him. Oh. There we go. Umbral Tears of Blue. Unknown Metal Wall. Within Old Virgin, many ancient stone structures have been preserved, being developed further as they were repaired, learning to the town a particular sense of a story. 
Modern architecture has taken hold in Vigrid, starting with Grand with Central Station. However, it is all to give form to the sacred institution of the ancient sages. The architecture gives us a glimpse into the people's deep sense of respect for their past. This town is old and new, still keeps within its bounds, and several strange things that the modern man struggles to make heads or tails of. For instance, dark green barriers made of unknown metal seem to block certain alleyways. Their shape, comprised of many complex bricks, impedes one from proceeding down the ancient paths of the city as though they were rejecting, uh, they were a directed visitor. Even though it seems these paths saw everyday use in the decent past, I may claim this material as in yet unknown, but in reality I haven't a clue regarding its composition. It's harder than heavier than anything a human being able is capable of removing, or so I have been surprised from it examining Chile's surface. Pushing one's ear against the wall, the sounds of other sides reverberate and echo within, resounding throughout the inner workings of the wall, as if Glockenspiel was playing scales. I've never seen a metal like this, but many of the walls within the city are made of this material, and the cliffs one can see enormous monuments constructed from the same mysterious material. I wonder what these lost witches and satyrs scatter these walls around the city. To keep out little scrubs who can't uh, summon shit. Oh what, can't summon a demon? You suck. Even a short reason the world shows there's no way through it. Perhaps if I was unleashed temporal witch power on it, my situation would suddenly improve. Ah, so I gotta lift these and make it down there in time. streets where'd you come from if you can't uh, probably just from the side doors oh cool a car I can destroy Awesome. <laughs> Those doves. How'd you lose track of him? Look at this pretty boy. Do you believe in fate? You're being chased. You really don't have the time to hit on people right now. Fate brought us here together, and it will never tear us apart. <laughs> he was so cool for a second. Sayonara. Apparently, this guy's gonna be playable in the third game. Fleur de cire, eau de parfum. Such a wonderful floral bouquet. With its subtle hints of rosemary. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remember. By the way, voiced by Yuri Larenthal. This is Sasuke. <laughs> Which doesn't quite equate to you, now does it? Bayonetta. Shit! Will you stop that? That little bug on Enzo was a nice touch. Seeing you here, I suppose it wasn't the only one. You've certainly fumed, haven't you, my little Cheshire puss? I'm not your pet. The name is Luca. A name you'd better remember. Oh! <laughs> Shit! 
She was gonna let him die. Damn it! Wait! You can't just run away from me like that! I know what I saw that day! I know all about your kind. Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales, amongst other things. But I know they're real. I know the truth. The smell. the same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. I'll let you in on a little secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. <laughs> No rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary is a demon repellent. Ah. Get your ass in the coffin. Get your ass in the coffin. I'll take this. Mm. To the guillotine you go. No, 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 don't resist. Get in there. Mm. I'm taking this. Woo! Ow, Jesus. I need to get better at that timing. Also, it isn't blatantly clear. It's kind of obvious that Bayonetta didn't kill his father or her father. So fast because you've got something to run from me, but you can't escape me forever. I mean, I literally can. <laughs> or maybe she did. I ain't spoiling. 
Holy shit. Oh, I'm in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. In a way to heal. Got this inverted control bullshit. On topics of magic. The ward witch usually conjures up images of, of head of old women using strange magic, but pursue, uh, but pursue the history of her grid, and you'll find a vastly different picture of a incredibly brave woman who once inhabited the area. They were known as Umbra witches. While these witches are said to have mythic magic, there remains very little recorded history back of these claims, yet they shared many powers with their opposing counterparts in the Limited Sages, and from their records, we can gather a better view of what magic entailed. An overseer of the history, they had the ability to literally see everything in an instant, also known as temporal control. This technique sharpened all the five senses and pushed one's emotional energy to its very limit. It's a, in all, it is a world where a falling drop of water can become a crown, and hummingbirds slowly slowly and elegantly flaps its wings. Temple control is not just simply being able to recognize this world, but also enables one's physical abilities and move freely within that single moment. Temporal control requires a sound body and mind and complete grasp of the spirit energy. While quite similar, the witches and sages each practice this art differently, leading to different names for their respective techniques. Witch time and light speed. Witch time, it seems that the witches on this earth fell victim to, their, to our world's passage of time and vanished into the abyss of eternity. Man, this inverted control shit, though. Oh, cool. Wasn't even looking for that. I really can do some healing. Ah, no. Hey, kitty. There's a key around here somewhere. Hair of the city has been a side of the cultural heritage zone, but by the looks of it, it's seen that this building taking care of the historic buildings and ancient streets. Man, I don't need these buffing butterflies, I need some health drops. Don't worry, you'll get a way to move faster later into the game. Oh, wait. Nope. Please. Close the gate with signal with the streetcars. Oh, cool, I got an achievement for doing that. I got an achievement for just dodge rolling through the bus. Enchant. Third spear. Ow. Okay. Oh, cool, I can skip this. Nice. Oh, pff, I should have saw that coming. 
Ah, come on. Much better. People are ow, really? Oh, I should have figured. People are real nonchalant about the literal train and tram that just crashed into there. Why are you people not running? No, oh, whatever. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Okay. Oh, what? Too much of a coward to fight me alone, so you had to call with dad? Or just a second? Oh, no, it's not dad. Just your brother. Eh, fair. button. Ooh, new LP. Oh, you can even see what kind of weapon you're going to get, too. <laughs> Thank you. Quasi un fantasia. slow. I mean, it's a decent move speed, but it's pretty slow compared to how fast I know I'm going to be going later. Top side magic, two. In Ridger's pursuit that the magical arts, one method is said to have been countless deaths during training, witch walk. To the number of witches, it seems witch walk was truly indispensable. Taking their power from the moon, this band of witches was able to draw the powers of enriching qualities of moonlight to execute high level techniques. However records, state, however, records state that witch walk was powered by a pact with a particularly powerful demon who would grant the power to break gravity bonds and not by the more common moonlit sources. As no further records remain, as to the nature of the technique, any more hard facts remain unknown. However, by looking at the traces left in the building around Vigorid, one can make a further assumptions. The traces are 
in fact, footprints left on the surface of the wall. They blend into the city so well that they're almost never catch a glimpse of them at first glance in fact those without knowledgeable of which walk would probably never notice the footprints presence amongst the dirt and scars of the sur uh, on the surface there are many buildings of a grid where footprints sporadically continue along their sides this must be none other than proof that there are these magical traders were able to literally walk on walls many of these buildings where the witches have left their mark are truly strange there are doors in unbelievable high locations or the buildings may lack a path to their entrance entirely rejecting all intruders and living in life of solitude which walk was not just a training technique for the witches umber witches it was a shield that protected them protected their way of life oh whoops wrong wrong thing wrong thing wrong thing Ooh. We got a uh, Hell's Gate here. About the Umbral Witches. Witches were one a ta uh, were ones of talent. That is my impression after years of exhaustive research into the Umbra. The word witches triggers within us all prejudice towards the paranormal or supernatural. However, in this ancient city of a grid, the magical arts were a somatic form of scholarship. Of course, what I have learned about witches will be labeled as fraud by the world at large or entirely dismissed as nonsense. I'll begin with these notes with items I have confirmed to be absolute facts in regard to witches. Due to their lack of contact with the outside world, we often feel that witches were a strictly hereditary order. However, this was not always the case. For one to become a witch, one must first and foremost possess incredible spiritual energy. Those with the power could become witches despite being of low birth, and those without power would be forced in secular life regardless of any blood ties to a witch clan. Natural, naturally, children born within a clan were often quick to grasp the concept of magic due to their environment around them, allowing their innate or uh, yeah, innate abilities to bloom at a much earlier age. Coming to grips with this concept must have inspired one to further hone their spiritual energy. The children were able to participate in extensive drills with other witches and only those who had shown great promise and achievement were able to take their witchly vows prior to passage into womanhood the exact nature of the spirit energy remains unclear although recognizing its existence within oneself and refining this talent furthermore was one's true path to producing a witch of great ability so it doesn't matter your creed hey can you do can you do this walks on wall well yeah all right you're in even though i'm like deaf blind and dumb yep you're in oh cool Oh, hi. Okay, this. Hey, Pure Platinum. Black Pearl, Moon Pearl. A piece of the Moon Pearl, gathering two of these will increase the limit of your magical power. Nice. Not even sure where I picked that up from, though. Enter the gates of hell. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Let me go whip some things in the shape for you. This took a bit of pound into shape. But the workmanship's solid. Now, go put this thing to good use. Shuraba. Cool. Another weapon I can't buy yet. Oh, wait. Still can't use it again anyway. 
Man, I'm so goddamn poor. I need to suck less. I'd make more money that way. Oh god. No! <laughs> oh my god. I promise you I've played this game before. My scurrying little friend. Just a child? What are you doing running around Vigrid? You're certainly not dressed in your Sunday best. Remember that impure child of birth? A uh, child between a Lumen Sage and an Umbra Witch. Oh, come on. I'm just really close to this. What? What? 
I pushed that button. <sighs> There's no... I pushed that goddamn X. Alright, game. Apparently not, but alright, sure. Lame. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, what a day. Insulting. In fucking salting. Bad at space invaders in real life too. I don't want any of these items. I refuse to use items. You can't make me. Uh that is stage two. And with that, we're on to stage three. The burning ground. That being said, I think it's a pretty good place to stop. So, when we return, we will continue on with this. Please tell me I'm gonna get better. Oh man. <laughs> I am playing this like garbage. I apologize. Out of the way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. But for right now, I am out. Later.